representing this is assistant Dunbar coach Jim Rossborough of the Iowa Hawkeyes with a special salute to Ronnie Lester. Marcy Dawson. Two of Ronnie's sisters are here today, Carol and Vicki. Would they come out, please? <laughs> and our very special guest, Miss Nadine Lester. On behalf of my fellow assistant, Coach Tony McAndrews, and myself, we, four years ago when Ronnie Lester decided to become a student athlete here, we were not looking forward to this day. Some of Ronnie's accomplishments, gold medal, the Pan Am Games last summer, All-American, 1979, Ronnie has been a Big Ten, uh, all Big Ten selection twice in his career. He has been all tournament three times. These in, are inscribed on this trophy for number 12, Ronnie Lester. There's a sign on the court, Ronnie, thanks for the memories. You see it right there. Tears in the eyes of any of the people applauding right now, Frosty. And Bob Hogue, I would imagine tears in the eyes of assistant coach Tony McAndrews watching on television right now. Tony, he's the guy you brought to town. We thank you, too, at University Hospital. Get well soon. I wonder if he has a jersey underneath that jacket, uh, Bob, if they're going to retire his shirt. We might have to play shirts and skins here today. Exactly. Ronnie Lester, by the way, will start. He will start this game this afternoon. That's a big surprise in replacing Bobby Hansen. Quite an emotional I would moment. I'd like to introduce at this time the Honorable Robert Ray, Governor of the State of Iowa. Iowans are very proud of their state, the University of Iowa, and the athletics at this school. People are what make the difference, and we're very proud of the people at this school. But today, especially one, and that's Ronnie Lester. I have the good fortune of participating in this Jersey retirement program, and I am now going to present to Dorothy Dawson from Dunbar School this beautiful picture of Ronnie Lester. We hope it hangs as long as the school exists.
Johnny played his high school ball at Dunbar High School in Chicago, Illinois. And the other one, the person that made it all happen, and that is his mother, Mrs. Lester, Nadine Lester. Coach Lou Dolson. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Nadine, I've, I've applied for a fifth year of eligibility for your son. But uh, the Big Ten coaches voted, and it was nine to one against. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to do, do this thing. Obviously, Ronnie's uh, uh, game uniform for this year will be the ones that will be hanging in our trophy case. But we do want you to have some that he wore when he was just a little tight when he came out here. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, we've enjoyed. The four years so much, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, it's been a great, great career. We're really proud of you. Very emotional moment for Coach Lute Olson. You could tell, very choked. Few and coaches just, are ever closer to their players than Lute Olson. And uh, of course, uh, Ronnie's been here almost as long as Lute has. And they've been through there together. Now we get to hear from the man himself, Ronnie Lester. That's if the crowd will let him speak, Frosty. <laughs> I just uh, want to thank everybody so much. Uh, this has been probably the, you know, the best four years of my life. Thank you, you great fans. Thanks a lot. And that'll bring the house down. You bet it will. Ronnie Lester, 1,599 points in his career. Just one more to go over that 1,600 barrier. What a career, Frosty. And our thanks go to Lou Henson and the Illinois Ball Club, who by agreement allowed all of this to happen, incidentally, to hold up the start of the ball game. Ronnie Bing, an Illinois boy from Chicago.